This video is sponsored by Uscreen. I'll be honest, as an entrepreneur and content creator, I pretty much feel like I have no idea what I'm doing like most of the time, but I think that's normal. And I like to try to combat that chaotic feeling by creating plans and strategies for myself. I never know for certain that these plans are going to lead me to success, but I try to base them on research, other people's business experiences, and my own experience of what has succeeded for my business in the past. So with all of that in mind, I'm making some changes for 2023. Some of these things I've already started to implement and I'm feeling really good about them. And some are things that I'm going to be trying in the very near future. And I thought for this video, it might be interesting to pull back the curtain a little bit and show you some of the reasoning behind the business decisions that I make. And hopefully it'll give you some ideas or insights on how you might want to strategize for your own creator business. Before we dive in, let me know in the comments where you're at right now in your journey. Is being a creator a hobby for you? Is it a bit of a side gig or has it become your full-time job? Let me know so that I can make more videos in the future that are helpful for that stage of the journey that you're on. Okay, cool. Have you left a comment? Okay, great. Thanks. So as you may have noticed by the background, I'm currently staying in an Airbnb in Barcelona, but I am working Eastern nine to five hours. So before I hunker down in the Airbnb for the entire evening on my laptop, why don't we go out for a little bit of a walk? I'll take you along and talk about the changes that I'm making to my business this year. First change I'm making this year is this. I'm not gonna release another massive course this year. Okay, first I feel like I need to qualify that a little bit because if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that the reason that I'm in Spain at all is because Domestica flew me out to Madrid to produce a course with them. But what I love so much about Domestica courses is that not only are they like very professional and like high production value, but they're also quite affordable for you if you want to buy one and the whole idea is that it's a finite process that you're teaching it's like a very clear small box of like this is what you're getting from it so anyway it's if you're curious it's gonna be a course about youtube so stay tuned if you want more info about that but this isn't about my domestic course the reason that i'm bringing up this point and i'll just be straight up with you is basically last year i produced my absolute masterpiece of a course the instagram roadmap and it was just a mammoth project that covered literally everything that I know and everything that I've learned about Instagram strategy and content creation for Instagram. It was my baby for months and months. I worked so hard on this. I paid a team member to help me work really hard on it. And it was a massive investment, both financially and of my own time. And it didn't really sell that well. <laughs> Honestly, I probably should have been better at tracking the actual number of hours that total went into the Instagram roadmap, but now I'm kind of glad that I didn't because I think if I would do the calculations, the hourly pay for the work that was put in would probably be not so great. So because of all of that, I've really decided that now is just not the time to double down and create like a huge course with a big price tag. Here's my honest like internet vibe check right now. I think people are sick of pricey, all you need to know in one place kind of courses. I know, I know there's still a lot of creators that are making bank off of selling like a thousand dollar courses and that honestly kind of shocks me because I think for a lot of us out here, the idea of these like really high priced courses is getting a little bit cliche. I think people want the tangible, specific, like here's your problem and here's a solution kind of a product. And I think that like really small, like workshop style courses, like the one I made for Domestica does kind of solve that problem, provide that value add. But I just think these like mammoth flagship courses that are really, really expensive, they're just not hitting the same way they used to. And especially, not with my audience, so I have learned. So because of that, I'm shifting my focus away from these massive, really big time investment, really big financial investment on your end type of courses towards more tangible problem to solution digital products. I just think people are not looking for like the entire encyclopedia on a topic like my Instagram roadmap is. People are looking for, this is the question you have, here's the answer in three simple steps. And I think digital products, kind of do a better job at that. So I've already got Notion templates, Lightroom presets up for sale on my website. And I've actually just launched my first kind of video product. And what it is, is actually a specific reels editing tutorial from the Instagram roadmap that I've repackaged and I'm now selling it for $25. And it's 
pretty much the full guide on editing reels for beginners. And that is really what I want to lean more into this year is these really actionable like video products. I'm really excited to see how this goes because I'm really getting the sense over the past year that digital products is where it's at. That's where the interest is. And people appreciate something that is kind of a quick solution. They see immediate benefit from it and it's affordable. And that I feel like is digital products in a nutshell, including video digital products. And if you are interested in launching your own video digital products this year, then I really want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Uscreen. Uscreen is the perfect place to launch your very own video membership platform. You can publish premium video content, think exclusive masterclasses, behind the scenes vlogs, and exclusive video podcast episodes. And your audience can pay for that content in one of three ways, either through a monthly subscription, a one-time payment, or a rental fee. This provides you as a creator with so much possibility, no matter what your niche is. Uscreen also has a live stream feature, so if you want, you can host a premium paid live stream just for your followers. Maybe you're a food blogger and you want to host a paid live cooking class. Or maybe you're a video essayist and you want to offer the extended version of your latest YouTube masterpiece for a one-time payment. Or maybe you're a vlogger that wants to share the juiciest behind the scenes moments with only your monthly subscribers. All of this is possible with Uscreen. Plus, not only can you host this on a beautifully designed website, but you can also create your own TV or mobile app so your viewers can watch your content in whatever format they prefer. You can create your own video membership platform using Uscreen today with the link in my description. The next major change I'm making to my business in 2023 is already well underway. And that is giving my team at Creatorly more independence. If you've been around for a while, then you'll already know that in addition to my YouTube channel, I also have a boutique social media content creation agency called Creatorly Media. And it started out as me as a solo freelancer and eventually it scaled and grew and I hired more people to help provide our clients with services. For a long time, I was really overwhelmed by working in my business, like literally doing the services for our clients and doing the admin like invoicing, email communication, setting up sales calls, all of that stuff. And so because I was so overwhelmed with not only working in my business every day, but also creating this YouTube channel and my own social media presence to promote my business, I literally never had any time to work on my business, like the big picture strategy and development stuff. And sometimes it also meant that my YouTube channel suffered or my own content suffered because I was focusing so much on the day-to-day -day operations of the business and ultimately like, my content is one of the main ways that the business gets new clients. And it also is just sad because like, I love making content on here. Like my YouTube channel is like my favorite thing that I get to do as part of my job. So when that was suffering because of my agency stuff is just, you know, sad. So in the last quarter of last year, I really decided to delegate more of those admin and kind of like day-to-day -day operations tasks that I was still holding on to, to team members and really just giving them the authority and the independence to run the business so that I can work on the business and also on the marketing arm, AKA my channel. And so I'm continuing that goal into this new year because I think at some points I've been probably a little bit too like, you know, holding on tight to stuff when I know that it's for the best to kind of let it start to walk on its own. And uh, as one person, I can only do so much. I think that's a problem that a lot of like creators and entrepreneurs have is like eventually you do need to let go a little bit and focus on what you're best at and not overwhelm yourself and burn yourself out by doing a million different things. The third change that I'm making to my business in 2023 is really, really dialing in my content strategy for growth. Now look, I know what you might be thinking, Katie, isn't a content strategy kind of always a part of your business plans? And the answer is yes, but admittedly I have been quite flighty about my content strategy in the past and I often commit myself to something and then two weeks later, if I'm not seeing the results that I want, then I immediately do a 180 and try something new. And that, as I've said before in my advice videos, is not really a great thing to do, but it's very easy to get in your head about your social media content, especially when the numbers aren't really lining up like you want them to. And so I often find myself pressuring myself into doing way more than I originally planned. And so I'm trying to change that in 2023 and actually focus on being consistent, being reasonable with my goals and kind of sticking to the plan rather than changing it at the first sign of resistance. So what that means for me is bringing it back to the content strategy that I shared at the beginning of this year, and that is trying to publish one really great YouTube video per week and publishing somewhere between three and five 
TikTok slash reels slash shorts per week as well. That was my original plan. And then I felt like, oh, I don't know if that's enough. And then I was gonna push myself to do more. And I've realized like that is not gonna be conducive to actually creating good content. So I'm bringing it back. I'm limiting myself because I know that inspiration is required to make something that's actually really good quality, which is ultimately what is going to perform well. So that's how I'm planning to make some changes to my business in 2023. If you wanna know more about the big picture of my business and what my income streams are and how I make money, then you can check out this video where I break down all of my income streams and how they work and how much money they actually make me. So go check that out next. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having adventures and following your dreams and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.